Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach Jeff Copper. Oh my God, have you noticed the accelerating cost of the tuition at the School of Hard Knocks? What's the School of Hard Knocks? It's funny, I'm watching the Bucks play, and I think it's 2003 Super Bowl, and they get up at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, by the way. I'm from Tampa Bay, home of the Lightning and Tampa Bay Buccaneers, for those that are sports fans. Um, anyway, they come at the beginning of the game, and they're like, you know, I'm so-and-so from the University of Alabama, I'm so-and-so from the University of Illinois, whatever. And Simeon Rice comes on, so-and-so, School of Hard Knocks. And it was like, it hit me at that point in time, when you go to university or college, you're transferring knowledge, but when you get out of college, and you go out there and you have to apply that knowledge, there's only one school and that's the school of hard knocks. Um, and there's a tuition, you have to fail to get it right. I've said this before, you know, I read a book on how to play the guitar. Can you believe when I picked it up, I couldn't play it. Ah, should have got my money back. Anyway, you put your finger on the strings and you fail, 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 get it right, fail. Anyway, point really is the school of hard knocks is the execution of knowledge. So here's the thing. The tuition's going up astronomically because the world doesn't want to educate you anymore out there in the world. Huh. Let me give you an example. This is a real world. It's frustrating as hell. This video is about validating you and actually recognize this so you can do things. So I got a printer that I take because my working memory shot, I print all the time, a lot. So I have a big one. Traveled around a lot. And recently I was at a place where I was working and there was 13 characters to get on the Wi-Fi network for the password. I had never been on one where there wasn't more than eight. So I put in the password. I get to eight characters and it says, oh, do you want to join the network? Well, I do, but I still have five more characters. I got to punch in before it takes. I keep doing I'm like, this isn't getting right. So, you know, I go on the internet searching for some of this. I don't even know what to ask for in order to find out what this thing is. Now, I just want to know how to put a password in, guys. I've had this printer forever. I've done it a number of times elsewhere. So I send an email and they get back to me two days later. Hey, you can get up to 32 characters and they send me a link. I look at the link. It doesn't say anything like, OK, it stated 32 characters, but it's not going in. So now I get on with chat. Right. I'm sitting there going, duh, 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 duh. hey, listen, I'm punching an eight. It automatically goes. I need 13. And of course, they're repeating back to me what I'm saying. Like, no, would you reread what I just read? I'm like, I don't know where you guys come from, but I said it. Uh, finally, they go, oh, we'll be back to you in a couple of minutes. And they come back and said, well, you need to hook your printer up with the USB. Listen, that's not an acceptable answer. I'm, I'm, it's a wireless printer. It can take up to 32 characters. Can't you give me the answer, right? So I basically say that's an unacceptable answer, which, by the way, it's really good when you use with customer service sometimes, because sometimes you actually have to get people to actually do the work because they just slough you off. So... They come back and they go, like, well, da, 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 da. and they, they said, oh, well, hmm, have you tried X? And I'm like, no, it doesn't work. Now, I'm talking to a representative of their company, right? I'm not on the FAQ page of the website. That's supposed to be so simple. I can never find anything that I'm looking for. The, I, everything they got on the FAQ page is stuff I don't even know. Anyway, so I'm on chat. So now I'm calling in to deal with customer service because I got somebody here. I guess finally I get somebody on the line. I'm going, I'm going through my tale of woe. I got 45 minutes into this, not counting the two days where I waited for them to respond just to plug this thing in. Turns out when I'm putting the numbers in, I hit OK. But when you get to the eighth number, you can't do that. You have to push the arrow sign. Now, there's nothing written around about this. So I finally get I get the thing to work. What's my point? The world is moving to self service. Why? It's convenient for them if you do it their way. And it's costing me money in terms of time and effort. Time and effort. In other words, they're bullying me. Go check it out on our FAQ page. No, I'm not going to do that. I, I don't understand it. Another, another great example. I bought a travel camper recently. I got an inverter. By the way, in Florida, you can't go get an inverter and return it because you're right. It gets them at hurricanes and takes them back. OK, no big deal. But how do they sound? Well, you can't even go in and hear one sounds like because they won't do that. So I buy one. OK, great. I got to put it somewhere. And they say, don't put it near the travel show. But anyway, I'm confused. So I go out and a CO2 monitor, right? I take the thing and I stick it right at the exhaust. I want the thing to go off and it doesn't go off. Now, I'm doing the test button, right? I literally take it into, shouldn't it go off if I do things? Yeah, I think it should. 
There's no instructions. There's no number to call. I mean, so what I'm having, so I go back, I put the thing on top of the inverter. I put a box over it so that it's suffocating the whole thing and the thing doesn't go off. I actually videotape this stuff. Take the video in and I go, should this thing go off? He goes, well, yeah, I think it should be. Now, here's the thing that's interesting is that if I buy an upgraded one, I can't take it back if I take it out of the packaging. What's my point of all this? Do you see my frustration? My frustration, because nobody tells you anything anymore. There's no education and the tuition, the school hard knocks. It's becoming trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. It's exhausting me. More and more, I don't do it much anymore unless I know somebody's got a rig that's already gone through that. And I can say, show me how to do that. That's very ADD friendly, by the way. Very ADD friendly. Takes a little bit of self-awareness. I'm hoping this is validating you because if you're out there and you're like me, oh, I got another story. Oh, my mom retires. She moves to the villages. She moves in. I walk into the house. Cell phone reception is not there. Thank God my brother's got his PhD in mechanical engineering. He says, you got to get this antenna. Take it down there. I take it down there, try to activate. It's not working. I'm just cycling through. I'm going through this. I'm pulling my head out. I call customer service. What is this thing? Oh, it's going to help the Wi-Fi service. I mean, your cell service. I understand that, but what is it? Well, anyway. I'm shortcutting this. I used to work for a telephone company at one point in time. So finally, I get on the phone with third level customer service and I'm like, what is this thing? And the guy said something. I don't remember what it was, but it took my head. Wait a second. Is this a cell tower? Like when you're driving down the road, your cell service is passed from one tower to next. If I'm going into the house, does it transfer from the outside tower to this tower inside the house, which is connected to the Ethernet that goes out on the Internet? And the guy goes, uh... Well, yeah. I go, then you just need my GPS coordinates. He says, yeah. And I plugged it in. Boom. It was working instantaneously. My point in this stuff is, as I'm talking to third level tech and they fundamentally don't even understand what this thing is, all they're doing is reading instruction and pushing buttons. God, I had an hour or so into that one. Point really is cost, tuition at school, hard knocks, where you're having to figure everything out on your own. It's going up and it's going up fast. Why? Because everybody wants you to do it for them because it's convenient for them if they do it your way. You know, I'd like to change society. I'm not going to be able to, but I'm hoping I'm empowering you to try different, to do different, to adjust your expectations, to realize this is the way of the world. It's not you. It's not your ADD. It's just the world being lazy. Huh. Sorry this video took so long, but you can tell I'm frustrated, probably like you. For those that are new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you join us. I'm not always as frustrated on videos. And um, comments, do you have stories? Love to hear them. You can take all your venting frustration out on the comments section of this video. So with that, leave a comment. And I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Attention Talk Video. Take care.